series. We wanted to kick it off today by starting with um, one of your recent projects that I think is just so inspiring, and that's Women Composing for Trumpet competition that you started. Can you talk about that experience, about um, just the whole process? Sure, yeah, this was actually, um, it was an interesting process because um, this is my second year working at McNeese State University, and um, we're always working toward tenure and we have these opportunities for grants that we can apply for called endowed professorships. So I decided, okay, I'm going to apply for something, but um, what's different from being a college student than actually being a college professor is that you want to do stuff that nobody's done before. And one of the things that stood out to me was, of course, um, we have one standard piece for solo trumpet that's by a woman, and that's a Pachmatova trumpet concerto. And I was like, okay, there's not really anything else that's considered standard. There's a ton of great repertoire out there, but not standard. And that was the key here. So I applied for um, a grant for this and I got it, which was very exciting last year and um, decided to make it a competition where we would have two grand prize winners. Um, and I wanted to give them a platform to not only have this work put out there, but to help promote them in the actual world as well. So uh, featuring them on social media, getting them some money too, because it was $2,000 each for the two grand prize winners. Uh, Katie Jenkins and Madeline Lee ended up winning those two grand prizes really great pieces that I'm excited will come out soon. Um, and they're going to get like a plaque and they had the option of having their music published by um, Murphy Music Press, which was a huge addition that we actually added a little bit later. I didn't know if that was going to happen, but it did. And I was super excited. Um, but yeah, so I, I put it together, did the website and everything, got the judges. Um, I chose the judges based on people that I know were um, people who were functioning well in the trumpet world and who knew their stuff, somebody who could decide, you know, this is something that could potentially become a standard in our repertoire. So I chose Raquel Samayoa, who is from Sarah Brass, and she teaches at UNT. She's just incredible. Uh, Pancho Romero from New Mexico State University. He was my undergrad professor, huge inspiration in my life. Um, a good friend, Peyton Shelton, who is, I mean, he's all with the solo stuff and all for new uh, repertoire in general and showcasing that. I thought he would be great to have on the panel. Um, he's at University of Utah. And then um, Ellen Schnogel, who is finishing up her doctorate with Jens Lindemann at UCLA. And I mean, she's won the national trumpet competition. I went to Eastman with her um, my first year. Um, she and I were there together. Did you get to meet her, Lauren? You came after, right? You were the year Yeah, after. I actually didn't even, I know her um, like through IWBC, but I actually didn't realize she went to Eastman. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah she did. So just um, missed her. First year was her last year. So yeah, you, you two were just a year apart. But yeah, so she was the final judge having all that experience and um, it, it was a really fun process. Um, the the entrance, um, there was a little entrance fee that we decided to donate to IWBC to help out with that. Um, so getting a little bit more help in the world of promoting women in brass. Um, but they were required to submit their piece and a MIDI for it and talk about why this competition was important to them. And that wasn't only for the competition, but um, for I, I'm hoping competition continues as well. And um, I wanted to learn a little bit more about what they expected, what they wanted to, why it meant something to them so I could keep evolving the competition and still make it relevant each year. So all of that happened. We announced the winners. It was fantastic. Um, along with all the prizes that the grand prize winners won, we're also doing recordings here um, at McNeese. I'm going to be recording Madeline Lee's piece, Wind or the Highlands. And um, Robbie Garrison, um, he is studying with Chris Martin at Juilliard, is going to be recording um, Katie Jenkins' piece. Um, and it's it's just going to be a really fun collaboration. It's funny, um, we had two hurricanes go through McNeese earlier, and so we're still kind of rebuilding and repairing everything, so we're on standby a little bit for that, but it's um, we're actually going to be able to be back in the, the hall soon and start the recording process, so that's coming. And then um, I'm actually in the process of phase two of this competition. I want the composition to be every other year. And the year in between is going to be a trumpet competition where the two grand prize winning pieces are gonna be the required pieces for trumpet players to enter. So this music gets played even more with the hopes of some some of it, if not all of it, I hope all of it, because it's such good music um, becoming standard repertoire. 
So that's the uh, Women Composing for Trumpet competition.